Do you want to make your own rug in The Sims 4? Well, let me teach you. It's actually really, really simple. It's one of the easiest things that you can make as far as CC is concerned, which is custom content. So today I'm going to show you this quick tutorial on how to make your own rug. So what you're going to need to do this is The Sims 4 Studio and i use adobe photoshop however if you want to use a free program like gimp or any other photo editing software feel free to do that as long as you have the correct dimensions this is going to work um, but i'm going to have the link below in case you want to do a free trial of adobe photoshop and um, that's just what i use but it's it doesn't really matter now i'm going to click on the sims 4 studio and if you're new to The Sims 4 Studio, make sure that you add your name here. I'm gonna click on Object, and I am going to type in Rug under Search. Not Trug, but Rug. <laughs> so now I'm gonna select a rug that I wanna work with. And I'm thinking I wanna work with this, um, this oval rug right here. So I am going to select this and go to Next. You can name it whatever you want. Just remember what you've named it and remember where you put it. So now here's the mesh and the texture as well. So I am going to go to texture and I'm going to go to export and I'm going to name this oval rug texture underscore Heather. And then we'll save that. Remember where you save it and what you named it. So I went ahead and opened up that PNG file that we just named and you can do that by either going to file and open or you could just drag it from the window onto here um, and you don't have to be using Photoshop like I said. Now I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to click on images. I'm going to type in oval rug. And you want to make sure that it's an overhead view because if you get one at an angle like this or like this which is beautiful by the way i really like this rug um, you're not going to be able to size it correctly um, i really like this oval rug midnight let's let's see if they have a overhead view of this Ooh, perfect this is the rug that i want so i'm gonna do right click open image a new tab and I'm going to right click it, copy image, go back to Photoshop, paste it. We want to flip it, so I'm going to hit Control T and I'm going to flip this counterclockwise 90 degrees. And um, for this next part, I need to get rid of this white in the background. So I'm going to select on this background tool. Actually, it looks like there's some white here and that's going to be a little bit of a problem for this next step. So what I'm going to do is I, and, and if it's a solid color, you can skip this step. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to burn, oops, which is right here. And I'm going to make this darker and you'll see why. Okay, so now that we made that darker, I am going to select this background tool and then left click this white by holding down Alt, Alt left click. And then we're going to get rid of this white background. Try to avoid touching the rug. Because this rug has some white in it. Okay. So now, you don't really have to do the whole thing, just enough to separate the rug from the background. So I'm just going to cut this out by using this tool, going to edit, cut, and paste. So now I have a third layer here. So we can delete the second layer. Looks like we still got a little bit of white. That is an easy fix. Just go to the eraser tool. Right click to make the eraser as big as you want, maybe a little bit smaller. And oops, make sure you're on the right layer. And voila. Now, I'm gonna go to this tool up here. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. And I'm gonna hit Control T. 
hold down shift and widen and size this so that it's pretty much gonna fit what's behind it. Like so. And how this is gonna work is it's just going to mirror this um, rug right here. Just this half, I mean. It's just gonna mirror this half of the rug. I think I like the other half better, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control T, right click, and flip horizontal. I like this side better. Control T and widen it just a bit. Once you have it to size, you can save it. You're going to go to File, Export, Quick Export as PNG. I'm going to save it as the same texture as I named it. Now we're going to go to Textures under The Sims 4 Studio, Import, select your rug. There it is. Hit Save. If you didn't save your original package file under your mods folder, just go to File and Save As, and then name it whatever you want just remember the name so now let's try it in game i'm going to go to build mode i am going to then go to objects to type in rug just to simplify life and it should be in here somewhere is this it here we go so if you want it to be bigger you can always use let me type it right here so you can see use this symbol to make it bigger this symbol to make it smaller once it's selected so i'm going to make it bigger you're going to place this right here for our studio we'll get rid of that rug and voila i like it anyway friends if you have found this helpful go ahead and give me a like and if you want to hear more in the future why don't you subscribe to my channel Bye.